When you think of a duel, you probably think knights fighting over their honour, or outlaws of the Wild West and a heated gunslinging match. What you probably don't think is two riled up French politicians in 1967. That's right, at the same time as man was exploring space, rock and roll was raging, and the Americans were fighting in Vietnam, these guys were busy doing this. So why did this happen? Well, in 1967, in the French National Assembly, the mayor of Marseille, Gaston de Fer, and René Ribière got into a heated argument. De Fer, clearly a rhetorical genius, yelled at Ribière, shut up stupid, Ribière got all flustered and demanded an apology. De Fer point blank refused, scoffing at what he thought to be a ridiculous request. And so, as any man would under such circumstances, Ribière saw fit to challenge De Fer to a duel. Despite being much older than Ribière, De Fer confidently accepted. If you'd strike that subscribe button in the same way Ribière wished to strike De Fer, that'd be splendid. The duel took place at a private estate just west of Paris with swords, and was officiated by another politician, the then Secretary of State for Foreign Affairs, Jean de Lipowski. The duel would not be to the death, because Ribière was due to get married the day after, and so he thought dying over an insult might be a little extreme. That said, he was clearly more riled up than de Fer, as he insisted on using sharper swords in the duel than was initially proposed. De Fer rather amusingly vowed to wound him in such a way as to spoil his wedding night considerably. The duel got off to a flying start, with de Fer striking Ribière's arm. Despite the blow, Ribière wished to persist. Not long after though, de Fer struck him on the arm again. At this, Lipkowskin, the referee, called an end to the debate. Ribière's physique wasn't too spoiled, but it is probably fair to assume that his pride was. The one thing we'll never know though, is what became of his wedding night.